Hi everyone, welcome to another uh, practical chess position. One moment, I have to set their names. Dobrovetsky is black, and it is black to move in this position. What to do? What to do? So first thing is probably clear that black is defending here. Um, what is the point of this puzzle? Tough to say. <laughs> So if we play a simple move like king to d7, why is this like anything for for black, for white? It's hard for me to figure out why white would have any advantage here. Maybe like rook to b5, and followed by rook b1, and there's some pressure, some pins, stuff like that. Still, it doesn't feel... So amazing to me. Hmm. King d7 looks like normal. Um. Huh. What is what is the point of this puzzle? I like to ask that question. So king d7, I mean, really seems like a normal move to make. Castling is weird because it's the end game, so we kind of want our king in the center. I, I I would just go king c king d seven and like king c six in some positions maybe. But let's think harder. Any other possibilities? B five looks horrible after something like c four. Uh, rook d seven he can take on b six and and we have this rook a eight check issue. Oh maybe that's okay. Rook a, rook d7, pawn takes pawn, rook... No, 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 that's not okay. <laughs> he just takes on, on b6. Um, I'm just kind of confused by, like, the point of this puzzle. I mean, why wouldn't king d7 be right? What is happening here that's, that's more important than just playing that move? It's very hard to figure out. It's just so natural. Uh, king to d7. Alright, whatever. I'm going to go there. And I, I guess we'll learn if, if we're wrong. I mean, I just don't know. Okay, that's the first move, supposedly. And when pawn takes pawn, I assume I'll take with the pawn. Now they play c4. So with the idea of c5. And we have a few choices here. Uh, one is like, we can play the really pathetic looking move of rook to b8, or we could go like king c7. I'm trying to figure out which one is, is best. King c7 seems normal. King c6 feels sketchy somehow, but maybe it's okay too. I mean, his idea is like maybe rook b5, rook b1, so put some pressure on b7. So maybe, you know, maybe, um, no, I was thinking rook c7, but then he takes on b6, and after we take on c4, he goes rook b7, rook c7, take, take, rook a7. So that doesn't seem good. Mm, maybe just rook c8. And if c5, rook b8, looks like it's going to dissolve the position next move. <clears throat> rook c8, I guess. And my other, my well, rook c8 can go rook b4. But it feels like a nice move. I don't know, man. I don't know. What does it want me to do here? I'm worried about king c6 just because, like, rook a6 seems sketchy to me. King c7 looks a little safer, but somehow rook c8. The problem is rook b, rook to um b8 is b4 is a useful move. After rook c7, he can go king d3. And I don't know. I just don't know how great. That is for us. 
you can go rook c6, and then you can go rook a6, and it's like, we're kind of defensive there. So how do we most accurately defend this position? I don't know. Maybe just passive defense, like, but it's very rare that passive play is the best idea. Maybe here's rook b8. I don't know. Hmm. Rook c8, like, like, rook to b4 again, it's just, or rook a4 even. It's just, like, kind of annoying. How can rook b8 ever be right? e5? Feels a little... a little sketchy to me. Um... Um, um, um... I don't know, man. What would I do in a game in this position? Tough to say, tough to say. I, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to go, i got to make a move. So what that move is going to be is, Rook B8 is so pathetic. It, it just can't, it's just like, <laughs> oh, such a disgusting move to make. Maybe King C7 and just Rook, rook on B to B8. Like, I'm going to go King C7, screw it. Said I'm wrong. What was the answer? Oh, it said, what the hell? King D7 is not the right move, it says. Why did it, um, why did it make me guess more moves when I was wrong? Okay, for some reason it says King E7 is the best move. With the idea of Rook, okay, Rook D8 to D6. Houdini's not working. Um... That seems surprising. But you know what's interesting? Uh, Houdini does like... Uh, I'm, I'm looking at Houdini off screen. It does like King E7 with this idea of Rook D8. And then if, if King C3, Rook to D7. Wow. That's amazing because King E7 is such a natural move. The stupid program is supposed to... Um, not make me guess moves once I've already been wrong. Because yeah, it looked like already white was white was better there. So how about that? That's so interesting. With this idea, putting pressure on d4 and combating white's main plan of c4 and c5. Very interesting. Very difficult puzzle, actually. Uh, very tough one. But very nice, also. Like, kind of like some long-term thinking instead of like some instinctive play where you just put the king on d7 because it's closer to the pawn that was weak anyway thanks guys for watching i will see you next time bye bye